And now to a little something that the legendary Italian lover Casanova used to call his English riding coat, the condom. And this is a specialist lab which tests rubber products. In order for condoms to be sold, they need to get a seal of approval from a testing centre like this. We test uh, approximately 600 condoms a day uh, in this lab and uh, that amounts to approximately 3,000 condoms a week. The first test is to establish the durability of the rubber and this is conducted while the condoms are still in their foil wrappers. The condoms are placed in, uh, in an oven at uh, 70 degrees centigrade for a period of uh, seven days and that's designed to uh, replicate the, uh, the shelf life of, uh, of the condoms. And the normal shelf life of a condom? About six years. How porous is the rubber? To test for any microscopic holes, each condom is filled with 300 millilitres of water. Then they're dried off and rolled. If nothing spurts out, it's a pass. Moving on to a test for elasticity. Condoms must be at least 16 centimetres long to pass the BSI test. And some have to prove they can stretch as well. A bit of rubber is cut from the condom and pulled to its limits. This one can take well over 100 newtons of force, which means it's passed. Just one more test to go. This test is a test for the strength of the condom. It's a burst and volume pressure test. Air under pressure is forced into each condom. Condoms must take a minimum of 18 litres of air, the equivalent of nine big bottles of fizzy drink. The rubber is just 0.06 of a millimetre thin, which enables condoms to provide a balance of pleasure and protection. Once they're filled with 18 litres of air, inflation continues until the condoms burst, so the manufacturers know the breaking point of their product.